special event in Union Square on Saturday, October 1st. Uh, duration of time, according to the application, is uh, 8 a.m. until 9 p.m. Uh, this proposed special event uh, will be called uh, Living History. And Leon, I know you're here with several others. Uh, yes, I am. Hi. How Hi. are you? Good, thanks. My name is Leon Lee IV. I'm a public artist based in Brooklyn, New York. I'd like to thank you, Community Board 5, for hearing my proposal tonight. It's called Tourist and Chief Living History. Um, I'd like to thank the public for coming by. I've brought uh, my project manager, my wife, Caroline Reed. I've also brought founder and director of Art Not Places, Ed Woodham. Ed has uh, selected my project to be part of his program for this year. Uh, before I go into the details of my project, I would like to show you some examples of some of the works that I've done in the public before. My work is going to encompass three major elements. That's humor, context, and history. In the case of humor, in 2009, I was commissioned to make a work of public art in Stavanger, Norway. And what I did was I, I created a giant-sized Kilroy was here image. We're all familiar with Kilroy. He's the guy with the big schnoz and the fingers hanging over the arbitrary horizontal line. Uh, instead of Kilroy just hanging on to the ledge there, I've got him holding on to his very last dollar. <coughs> this work is called The Great Recession, and it's intended to make light of the tragedy of the financial crisis in 2008, and that which we're experiencing to this very day. Fittingly, fittingly, the installation was placed on top of a bank. Which brings me to my next element, which is context. In 2008, I was, this, uh, I was commissioned to make a work of public art on a maximum security prison of all places. Uh, for this project, I decided to make a large <laughs> turkey vulture, appearing as if he wants to fly away from the prison. But if you look closely, he cannot do so because his talent is padlocked to the top of the prison, which effectively makes him like every other jailbird trying to get out of prison. <laughs> Humor, uh, history, as exemplified in a project that I did in Manchester, England, where, whereby I did what's called a statue uh, adornment. And what I did was I took our 16th president, Abraham Lincoln, and decided to put a New York Yankees cap on him. I emphasize Yankees also put an Africa medallion around him to represent the African slaves with which he freed, and a Union medallion to represent the army outfit with which he was commander-in-chief. Also, if you look closely on his fingers, there's two rings that say true and yank. Now, humor, context, and history are three elements with which I combine together in the project with which I'm proposing to you all tonight, Tourist in Chief Living History. Tourist in Chief Living History will take place and make use of the bronze statue of George Washington, located in Union Square, designed by Henry Kirker Brown, installed in 1856. Tourist in Chief is designed to transform George Washington from stoic military general into that of your everyday tourist. The project is planned to be installed on Saturday, October the 1st of this year, from 8 a.m. to 9 p.m., 13 hours total. The Tourism Chief installation is designed to achieve three major objectives. Number one is to reflect the cultural atmosphere of Union Square as it exists today. We all know that Union Square is a hotbed for tourism and commerce, and as an artist, it's my job to reflect the time with which I live in. The second goal is to make Washington a more relatable figure to the contemporary audience, whereas we all know with bronze statues that are monochromatic such as this, uh, dealing with figures which, with, which have long since been dead, dealing with events which long since have been passed, it's difficult to relate to the audience, for the, for the contemporary audience to relate to them. So with Tourist in Chief, I would like to the contemporary audience to relate to this figure more, more closely. The third objective of Tourist in Chief is to inform the, the public about Washington's historical role in New York City, which is oftentimes overlooked. I plan to achieve Tourist in Chief with five simple props. Number one being the, I'll wait for, okay, thank you. Number one being the I Love New York app, the camera, a New York City subway map, and three brightly colorful bags that make it look like uh, George Washington has gotten a great deal on shoes somewhere. Now, once I have everyone's attention with Tourist in Chief. I, I plan to inform the public as to Washington's historical role in the city, which is oftentimes overlooked. 
As it exists today, there is no information kiosk around this particular statute. And I plan to fill that void with uh, an information kiosk which will be placed right near the statute while Tourist in Chief is up. I'm going to read the middle passage right here. It states, and I'm going to drink some water before I do this. <laughs> it reads, George Washington played an important role in the history of New York City. Initially defeated by the British in the Battle of Long Island in 1776, Washington would later emerge triumphant and lead the Continental Army down Broadway as the last British troops fled New York, Evacuation Day 1783. On April 30th, 1789, George Washington was inaugurated as first president of the United States at Federal Hall on Wall Street in Lower Manhattan. The inspiration for Tourist in Chief comes from a long line of statue embellishments such as Tourist in Chief. Example, Union Square 1861, 150 years ago to this year at the Great Sumter Rally, the thonging crowds decided to place a flag in the hand of George Washington. That flag is the flag of Fort Sumter, which was attacked by the Confederate Army. Now, the reason why they did this is because they wanted to make Washington seem as if he were fighting for them. They wanted to make George Washington seem as if he were with them, among them. And even as late as 2008, when the New York City Parks Department placed a bouquet of flowers around the arm of George Washington, to represent Arbor Day. And you can see there's one nice, cutely placed in his lapel there. And the inspiration also comes from examples as late as winter of this year when the New York City Parks Department and NBC decided to team up and do 30 uh, statue uh, embellishments all around New York City where they placed a black cape around some of our most sacred uh, statues. Um, this was, of course, for the, uh, the, the promotion for the Cape NBC show. Now, I've explained a little bit about my, my work, my previous work. I've explained a little bit about the inspiration and the basis behind Tourist in Chief. So now I will turn it over to Caroline to explain a little bit about the nuts and bolts of this project and the popular support with which it has gotten so far. Thank you.